a special Thanksgiving service in Ibadan, the Oyo State Capital, in honor of the state governor elect Sheyima Kinde. Special prayers are rendered for Mr. Makinde's smooth sail as he prepares to take over as the state's chief executive. Then a piece of advice from the keynote speaker who says the incoming governor and his deputy should be non-partisan and concentrate on making life better for the people. Oh, your state is more than Ibadan. There are rural areas where people are still suffering. There are rural areas where people are in abject poverty. Divert your attention and make your life relevant to the needs of the ordinary people. These are the people who will pray for you. These are the people who will re-elect you if you do well after four years. Elsewhere, the governor-elect meets with another group of people. Thank you so much, very please sit down. The forum creates an opportunity for some speakers to raise key sectors they believe the incoming government should look into that will benefit the people. We have a specialized health care for the pensioners. The agent and the other will forever bring to that community to pay to the rescue of the Soyo states. The governor-elect gives the assurance that his administration will focus on four cardinal points to make life meaningful for the people of the state. Uh, one is the economy. Because we promised to take a lot of people out of poverty. So we have to focus on the economy so we'll be able to do that. Second is uh, education. Third is health. And finally, will be security. It's a few weeks to the presidential and governorship inauguration, and Mr. Sheyi Makinde believes it's time to set the ball in motion by meeting with those that will help his administration review some key sectors and seek ways of tackling the problems in the state.